Alright, so I had a match the other day. I was playing Burn, and the opponent brought this list to the table. He won the match. Um, it was pretty competitive, nearly went to time, but I think a lot of it is to do with the life link, or the li not life link, but life gain that's in this deck. Quick breakdown it's, it's a Golgari deck that's gaining life off creatures that are coming into play, gaining life off lands that are coming into play trying to pump blood researcher with the life that you're gaining and also slowly wearing your opponent out with marauding blight priest one of the issues i found with the deck that i don't know if we can really get around it's got seven untapped lands everything else is coming into play tapped that's pretty great for the long game but your starts can be exceptionally slow You'll see it in the gameplay when we get to it. But ultimately, if you can go Essence Warden into probably Query and Ranger on the first two turns, you want to stick a blood, blood Researcher on turn three, and then all of your tap lands, uh, Riveteers, Overlook, Terramorphic Expanse. It, when the game really starts going long, putting in... Golgari Rot Farm, returning a gingerbread cabin, replaying a cabin on the next turn, triggering the life response. There's a lot of synergy and interaction in the deck. So it's it's pretty fun to play. I'm not saying that it's competitive, but there are some interactions. It does have some game to it. So you're not really playing a game for fun in the sense that, you know, I'm playing cool cards. I like it. It doesn't matter if I win or lose. There is some competition to it which is good so it's is not tier one meta it's not meant to be shown that way um this is certainly not an advertisement to to take this somewhere and, and have expectations of results that would be not what the deck is doing but it is fun to play it does have some game and let's go ahead and see see what transpires give me a second to get the game loaded up Game one, unknown opponent. Decent opening hand. I'm going to pause this for a second. Decent opening hand. Some people might be looking at why didn't you go turn one forest and play Essence Warden. So I haven't played the deck that much. This is actually the first match I've played with it. But on the opening look, it doesn't seem that we're going anywhere. We either are skipping Essence Warden on turn one because we have two tap lands, one untap land, the probabilities of untapped lands on the next couple of turns are low. We have, what, seven, and we've got one in our hands, so now we're down to six. So it's either play Essence Warden turn one off the untapped forest, play Woodland Chasm tapped, which skips our second turn, and then go into another turn three playing another Woodland Chasm, making turn four Blood Researcher. So I'm trying to get to Blood Researcher, I think, because I don't know what the opponent's playing. But I'm trying to get to Blood Researcher on turn three as fast as I can, and then hope everything else plays out. That's the reason for playing the tap land, then Essence Warden on the second turn. With Preordain, I wasn't sure if I was against uh, UB Terror. Uh, some UR UB Fairies will run Preordain, Serpentine Curves deck. Mono blue terror with the blue red. I was pretty sure I'm on you are fairies And I'll say that if I'm playing against you are fairies I'd rather see turn one preordain than turn one fairy seer Because at least I'm for the most part dodging Spell stutter So I I like facing a pre a turn one preordain as opposed to seeing a turn one fairy seer I don't know what my opponent's thought process here was by playing Spellstarter Sprite. It's certainly not countering Blood Researcher. I, maybe the opponent, and this is not to insult the opponent at all. I don't, I don't know if the opponent thinks Spellstarter is just a hard counter, but it was played. I was thankful for it because it's not doing anything other than growing my Blood Researcher. But I, I'm really not sure on 
the reason for the spell stutter. I even thought for a second, maybe he's got multiple spell stutters and he's trying to get this into play, but then why wouldn't you play it on the end step? So I'm not sure, but I was, I was glad for the outcome. And as you can see here, um, Blood Researcher is already a 4-4, right? We didn't play a creature to pump it. We just gained life when it came into play, so that triggers. That's the creature that we played. Then he plays Spell Stutter, which triggers it again. When, he, when I saw the tap of the mana, I thought it was going to be Fire and Ice. Um, but it is what it is. Blood Researcher is now going to be a 5-5. Five, five. So in any combat situation, I'm thinking, okay, is it going to be... You know, I still have to go with Menace that Blood, uh, Blood Researcher has. It could still be dub Double Block Bolt or Double Block Scred, something like that. I'm not sure what's going on with the replay. It seems to get stuck on a, when Essence Warden comes into play. But I, as you can see, I, I can do it in slow motion. It'd be nice if I could. <clears throat> Uh, Kazandu Nectarpot comes into play. We go with Riveteer's Overlook to gain. We gain life off the land. And then we gain life off of Essence Warden. All of the lands and the creature are pumping Blood Researcher, which is now a 9 9 with Menace. And that's, that's a severe amount of pressure placed on the opponent, especially when um, you're playing the UR version of Fairies, which is essentially Bolt Scred. I don't think they play snap maybe there's some versions that do i don't think that they do but essentially you're just going to be throwing blockers into play even if you get to a terror it's not going to matter um if they're playing terror on the top end some do not many but this is not a great situation for the opponent fortunately for us we didn't get countered we we didn't get fire iced um on on the stack or bolted scred when blood researcher came into the game i'm going to go ahead and bring up game two which is also a pretty fast game. Doesn't doesn't last long. So in game two, the opening hand is not that great. Very slow with no threats. So we, we went ahead and mulliganed. Again, you see the tap the tap land issue. Um, at the moment it's it's it slows the deck down, but it's just you kinda need the the fetch lands and some other the tap lands obviously for dual color it's just one of the things you're going to have to accept on that when playing that deck it does get it's a benefit late game it's just a hindrance in the early game like gaining a couple life off uh offshoot is not is not that big of a deal maybe it's a bigger deal in a fairies matchup but overall i don't, I don't really care about gaining a life or two off offshoot what i want to do is gain the life with a blood researcher and play it just takes a while to get there right like this is a couple life triggers um i'm gonna pause it here too I, I was certain that he had a counter spell in hand so rather than play blood researcher into two open blue i went with blight priest and if they if they want to counter that i'd rather them counter that than blood researcher And we're still getting hung up on the on the replay. Opponent cast uh, preordain. <clears throat> There's issues already, right? Like we're we're certainly swinging. There's no open red mana, so I'm not worried about these things getting bolted or burned out. We just kind of get to do whatever we want to do at the moment for this turn. I mean, spell pierce is not an issue for us, so if that's what's being held up, fine. The opponent's going to concede here in a minute. Um, you're swinging for three. Lands returned with Query and Ranger. Play another offshoot. Play some lands here in a second. This is going to be, what, 6-6? Six, 7-7? Six? Seven, seven, maybe more. have to count it up. But it was a very quick scoop. But it, it, there's a lot of pressure. Not from the offshoots. It's just you've got the grindy part of Blight Priest in play. And you've got Blood Researcher that's going to demand that you do something with it eventually. I don't know if Blue Red Fairies has the the tools necessarily. As some like Gardens would be a little better, although it shuts off Snuff Out because it is black. Uh, shuts off Spinning Darkness because it's black. But the, you know the spot removal is going with that black has is going to be a lot a lot more difficult um, for us to deal with. But in a blue 
in a UR Fairies matchup, I'll take red removal over black removal in order to keep these these alive. So that's the deck. It's called Lands. Um, it's sufficient. It could probably take a, a different name, but it is called Lands. I didn't build it. It's been around for about a year, year and a half. Fun to play. Some great synergy. Had a match following this with red that was, was pretty exciting, but we went ahead and put this one in play. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.